the 6.57 crew, associated with previous English Premier League club Portsmouth FC and named after the 6.57 a.m. train they would travel to London's Waterloo station on Saturdays. They were a big firm in the 1980s, wreaking mayhem across the country. This group of fans from the South Coast has kept spoiling for fights at the top of their priority list. They are rated at number 12 in the book, 21 Toughest Hooligan Firms of All Time, a book by renowned hooligan expert Paul Gratis. The 6.57 crew have a major reputation for trouble. They were once banned from Millwall's Cold Blow Lane because of riots when they played there. However, we feel that being in the lower divisions for most of the period we talk about means they didn't often take on the big firms, so we can't really tell what might have happened. Some of their well-known incidents include 1966 Portsmouth v Millwall 400 Millwall take the Fratton end which is Portsmouth's home end. One of only three times it was ever taken I'm told. This is during the Skinheads era. 1970 Portsmouth v Leicester Leicester arrived for their promotion party and some even in the Portsmouth home end. Disgruntled Portsmouth fans attacked Leicester after the game in a full-scale riot. 1971 Portsmouth v Arsenal, FA Cup fourth round. 20 arrests tells you the extent of the trouble. 1981 Portsmouth v Millwall. Millwall bushwhackers riot in the Milton end and threaten to storm the pitch. Police dogs have to quell the trouble. Portsmouth fans try to join in with a massive battle in the toilet area of one of the stands. After the match both sets of fans meet up for a toe-to-toe -to -toe scrap. Police eventually win the day. 1983 Portsmouth v Cardiff At full time, Pompey supporters in Alverstoke rode through bricks and other rubble into the Milton end. Then, in their infinite wisdom, the cops released roughly 4,000 TAFs, resulting in one of the worst riots ever seen in and around Fratton Park, where even an unmarked police van with a dog was overturned, and it was lawless for many hours. 1984 Portsmouth v Southampton 7,000 Saints fans turn up at Fratton Park. Lots of trouble at this match and an infamous coin-throwing incident when a Saints player was hit by a coin delaying the match. After the game it was carnage, police in the main kept both sets of fans apart and there was little fighting between the two groups en masse. However Pompey fans went on the rampage in their own city doing £20,000 worth of damage that included 16 plate glass windows smashed, 6 police vehicles damaged, 18 people needing hospital treatment, pubs trashed and 59 arrests. 1987 Derby v Portsmouth Following an away game against Derby County in 1987, the 657 crew fought for four hours against local black youngsters, as stated in the local paper at the time. The 657 crew was said to have ties to far-right political organizations. Some 657 crew members would employ the Nazi salute, for a giggle, during that time, while other members of the 657 crew have admitted to having right-wing affiliations. 1990 Portsmouth v Wolves 4,000 Wolves take over the Milton End with lots of fighting at half-time after being attacked by the Portsmouth North Terrace Boys. 1992 Bristol City v Portsmouth Just five fans arrested but major trouble in the seating section of Bristol City's ground. The whole video can be seen on YouTube. Local stewards seem to have lost hold of the situation. 1997 QPR v Portsmouth Eight minutes into the second half of the match between Queen's Park Rangers and Portsmouth at Loftus Road, fighting started in the Ellerslie Road stand, with the 6.57 crew forcing Rangers supporters to seek shelter on the pitch and the referee, Kevin Lynch, to take the players off for 15 minutes while the trouble was quelled. Four people were injured, not seriously, and nine arrested. Trouble in other parts of the ground also took place. 2001 Coventry v Portsmouth Violent clashes with Pompey fans attacking the Coventry end with seating ripped up from their stand. The 6.57 crew then storm the pitch and try to attack the main Coventry firm. Eight Pompey 6.57 fans arrested, amid accusations of Nazi salutes. 2004 Portsmouth v Southampton 
93 people were arrested, including a 10-year-old kid who became the UK's youngest ever convicted football hooligan, for their roles in major disturbances that took place before and after a match versus Southampton, during which police were attacked and stores were looted. 2012 Millwall v Portsmouth 20 Millwall bushwhackers attack a pub where Portsmouth fans were drinking. Up to 250 rival fans meet up for a 20-minute brawl in Bermondsey, near Millwall's ground. Unsurprisingly, both firms claim to have won the battle. 2019 Portsmouth v Southampton 500 Portsmouth 6.57 crew try to get at the Saints mob who arrived by train and coaches. Massive police presence ensures no major breakout of trouble but lots of sporadic fighting. The 6.57 crew have been relatively quiet since the Southampton match in 2019. Or have they? Don't forget to subscribe to help our channel grow and give you bigger better content.